question that was also asked in your 2022 NICT examination is equally important for NEET PG and FMG aspirant as well. They have given a graph of antiarrhythmic drug action and they have asked which of the following antiarrhythmic drug can cause the shown effect. The shown effect that they are asking is the one with the dotted line. So in the bracket, it can be mentioned that the one with the dotted line. Okay. Now, whenever you are going to look at an option like this or a question like this, always and always remember how does a normal action potential look like? So if you are going to look at a normal action potential duration at the myocyte, this is how a normal action potential duration look like, which uh, will be having phase zero. Then we are having phase one, phase two, and we are having phase three and resting remnant potential that is phase four. Now each of the phases are having a different reason, right? Like for example, phase one is mainly because of the sodium influx. Phase two is mainly because of the potassium ka efflux. Hai na? Sodium is coming inside, potassium is going outside efflux. Hai na? And whatever potassium that was being lost is going to be neutralized by uh, calcium. So potassium is going to be efflux and calcium is going to be influxed in phase two. Phase three is only going to be Potassium efflux phase 4 is the resting membrane potential. Let's, let's say the minus 90 is the resting membrane potential. So that will be your phase 4. Now always and always remember the phase 1 was mainly coming because of the sodium influx, right? So we have to see this one. This is one of the image of uh, class 1 antiarrhythmic drug and all the antiarrhythmic drug, if you know, they are classified by a classification known as Vaughan William classification. And you can easily remember soda blocks potassium channel, sodium blocker, beta blocker, potassium and calcium. Soda blocks potassium channel, very easy. And class 1 is further subdivided into three important type. That is 1A, 1B, 1C. One is further sub divided into 1a where sodium blocker is going to be there but along with the sodium blocker they are also having potassium blocking property then we are also having 1b be the brave group of people and be brave group of people they are having sodium blocking property but in addition to that they are having potassium channel opening property so potassium will usually go out in this one and 1c that we are having is only sodium channel blocking property they do not have any action on the potassium right so if they are having sodium channel blocking property and along with that there is also potassium how will the graph look like possibly if you see the graph may look something like this let's say that this is the normal action potential duration this is the normal one and when you are going to block the sodium channel because of the blockade of the sodium there, there will be decrease in the action potential duration the slope will be uh, i mean there will be decrease in the depolarization and after that after that if you are going to see there will also be potassium channel blockade and because of that the repolarization will also be slow so overall there is going to be increase in the action potential duration there is going to be increase in the action potential duration and this one action potential duration it correspond to your qt interval in the ecg so we also can say that these kind of drugs they can also cause increase in the qt interval prolongation now what are the class 1a anti-admic drug so in my story, whenever you, if you have attended my class, I used to give you a story of a big kingdom of antiarrhythmic drug that is having three grade of people, grade A people, grade B people, grade C people. Grade A people in that kingdom is going to be your queen. So we are having quinidine and we are also having prince. So we have procainamide procainamide and along with queen and prince we also have a dasi who is always going to help them so that is going to be disopyramide queen prince and dasi disopyramide b is the brave group of people and they always have lot of uh, you know pride in themselves and they always brag about themselves that look at me i am the one who is having sodium channel blocker because of this there will be decrease in the slope of depolarization but at the same time there is a potassium channel opening so there is a rapid efflux of the potassium and because of this there is going to be decrease in the action potential duration and this brave group of people they always say that i'm so brave that they all like to phone me they all like to phone me matlab main itna brave hu sab mujhe phone karte hain koi bhi emergency aata hai koi bhi ventricular arrhythmia aata hai they all like to phone me definitely there's a true also whenever there's any arrhythmia we all like to look for class 1b anti arrhythmic drug by the name of lidocaine lidocaine tocainide lidocaine tocainide uh, phenytoin one of the anti epileptic drug having arrhythmic property anti arrhythmic property and maxillotin right so that is why they are always bragging about themselves right that we are so brave that they all like to phone me and then we are having class 1c anti arrhythmic drug and what was 1c only sodium channel blockade so if you see there will be only decrease in the slope of depolarization but there is no effect on overall action potential duration action potential duration in this case scenario it remains the same and c grade people will be like the, doing all the c grade activity of that kingdom and what is the c grade activity my both of floor per फ्लोर पर मॉपिंग एक्सेट्रा आसान है फ्लोर पर मॉपिंग एक्सेट्रा नो वट इज फ्लोर पर मॉपिंग एक्सेट्रा स्टैंड फॉर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर फ्लिकेनाइट फ्लिकेनाइट 
प्रोपाफिनोन नाम ही प्रोप्रेनोलॉल के जैसा है तो इट्स स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक प्रोप्रेनोलॉल सो दिस हैज आल्सो बीटा ब्लॉकिंग प्रॉपर्टी ओके प्रोपाफिनोन मोरिसिजीन मोरिसिजीन एक्सेट्रा विल बी एनकेनाइड फ्लोर पर मॉपिंग एक्सेट्रा तो दिस विल बी योर एनकेनाइड एनकेनाइड राइट सो दिस क्लास 1 सी एनकेएच मीटर नाउ अ वेरी क्लोज डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द ग्राफ दैट आई एम डिस्कसिंग एक्चुअल प्रोसेस ड्यूरेशन वाला जो इमेज दिखा रहा हूं इज गोइंग टू बी क्लास 3 एनकेएच मीटर दैट इज ओनली हैविंग पोटेशियम चैनल ब्लॉकिंग प्रॉपर्टी सी आई सेड ओनली पोटेशियम चैनल ब्लॉकिंग प्रॉपर्टी बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी दिस इज द नॉर्मल एक्शन प्रोसेस ड्यूरेशन द वन इन द डार्क ब्लू दिस इज द नॉर्मल एक्शन प्रोसेस ड्यूरेशन if it is only having potassium channel blocking property there will be no effect on the slope of depolarization slope of depolarization the one that is showing in dotted line is as it is and after that what will happen they are going to have only potassium channel blocking property and because of that the repolarization will be more slow so there is only and only going to be increase in the action pressure duration i mean overall increase in the action pressure duration but there is no effect in the slope of depolarization it is normal and so what type of drug can increase the qt interval prolongation qt interval prolongation can be done by two important drug that i used to tell you class 1a that is queen prince dasi and class 3 antihistamine drug what are the class 3 antihistamine drug there are so many class 3 antihistamine drug some important one that i can tell you will be a very good example going to be amiodarone amiodarone ठीक है एमाइड्रॉन है ना देन वी आर आल्सो हैविंग सोतालॉल आई ब्यूटी लाइट देयर सो मेनी ऑफ देम एक्चुअली बट आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग द इंपॉर्टेंट वन ठीक है आई एम एमाइड्रॉन सोतालॉल आई ब्यूटी लाइट ठीक है डोफेटिलाइट ऑल ऑफ देम आर देयर राइट सो आई होप यू ऑलरेडी नो द हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस क्लास 1 ए एंटी एजमिक ड्रग एंड क्लास थ्री एंटी एजमिक ड्रग क्लास थ्री में सिर्फ और सिर्फ डिक्री एक्शन प्रेशर ड्यूरेशन बढ़ेगा बट देर इज नो अफेक्ट ऑन द स्लोप ऑफ डिपोलाइजेशन बट क्लास वन ए में एक्शन प्रेशर ड्यूरेशन भी बढ़ेगा और स्लोप ऑफ डिपोलाइजेशन विल ऑल्सो भी रिड्यूस राइट सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस हैव गॉट नाउ लुक एट ऑल दिस ग्राफ दैट आई एक्सप्लेन टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस एंड कंपेयर दिस ग्राफ विद वट वी हैव गिटन वी हैव गिवन हियर सो देर इज अ डिक्रीज इन द स्लोप ऑफ डिपोलाइजेशन डेफिनेटली यस एंड ऑल्सो देर इज इंक्रीज इन योर एक्शन प्रेशर ड्यूरेशन दैट मीन सोडियम भी ब्लॉक कर प्रॉपर्टी है और पोटेशियम भी ब्लॉकिंग प्रॉपर्टी है सो विच ड्रग इज हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी क्लास 1 ए ए क्वीन प्रिंस एंड दासी सो ओनली वन दैट वी आर हैविंग हियर इज प्रिंस एमियोट्रॉन इज क्लास 3 एंटी एजमिक ड्रग एंड आई थिंक आई हैव शोन एमियोट्रॉन टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस दैट एमियोट्रॉन विल बी लुकिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस रेड कलर से शो कर रहा हूं एमियोट्रॉन विल बी हैविंग ओनली दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी ठीक है रेड वाला जो मैंने शो किया दैट विल बी एमियोट्रॉन लाइडो कैन लाइक टू फोन मी है ना सो दे आर क्लास 1 बी एंटी एजमिक ड्रग एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन यू द ग्राफ ऑफ क्लास 1 बी एंटी एजमिक ड्रग दिस क्लास 1 b this is class 1 a class 1 b and this is class 1 c and tmd drug okay phenytoin like to phone me again class 1 b and tmd drug and everything about this we have covered i hope the future question will be you know you can tackle it very very easily next one mira background acid mira background mira background guys it's one of the beta 3 agonist that is acting at the detrusor muscle and they actually cause relaxation of the detrusor muscle so whenever there is any patient of the overactive bladder overactive bladder ya detrusor muscle instability